but even eternity to do it. Yeah. It's not even good to mix eternity with time. With time. I mean, the whole the whole point is to really get clear that they don't. Because to the ego, the eternity is just a long, <laughs> long time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> Eternity. This just stretches out time more. <laughs> That's the way I am. So give me something. That, how else do you think of eternity? Well, you can't. Eternity, the, the miniature of eternity, the little snapshot of eternity is the holy instant. And that's why every time we come together to look at everything that's covering over the holy instant, Jesus says, now is the closest approximation of eternity that the world offers. Well, <laughs> that's, there you got a little speck that we just talked about in that thing. That's, that's the closest approximation to eternity that the world offers. So we just keep looking. And it's, it can be, to, to have sessions and to even go through the thinking of this and to just to, as I say when I'm going through it, if there's anything that, that is not understandable or that needs a little more clarity, that's a good, another time to raise the hand up. You know, yeah, I mean, that's the, it doesn't have to be a major, major crisis before And I you think, get hand. you know, the iceberg analogy, why that's not helpful is, and why it's not accurate is that it, it, it doesn't, well, it, it just, I, well, I don't know if I can explain why, but I guess the other metaphor that, you, that you've used that, that, does explain it better to me is the tree with the branches, because that gives some connection to all of it. You know, I mean, here the 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 trunk of the tree indicates that there is, you know, it's like a funnel. You know, it's all leading to the same place. So whether I pick this belief or this belief or this belief off any of the branches, it's all leading to the same place. So it's not like well, this is just one belief among millions. What's the, you know, what's the impact of that? It's like, well, but it's it's leading to the same root cause. So pick anyone, pick one, pick ten. Doesn't matter. It's all going to the same place. So that that to me is a much better um, way of seeing it because then it doesn't feel so overwhelming. And, the, and that too, it's like, you know, even with a tree, you know, you, you think of how it keeps branching out further and further and further, that even if you put pick a belief that's on the furthest most, you know, teeny tiny branch, you know, if you see a connection between that and a, a bunch of other beliefs, you know, you can lop off one big, big branch of the tree at one time. So, I mean, you know, to me that that's helpful in seeing that there's a connection between all of it, whereas the iceberg just seems like, you know, there's no connection. It's just one over here, one over there, one over here. You still have a huge iceberg. Just what's, so many what's the, huh? Yeah, what's the connection? Another way to think of it, using the tree analogy, would be, you know, with the leaves and the little twigs. You think of every little leaf as as a private mind. That the leaf, if you follow to the twig, if you follow to one branch, one another, another, that, if you keep going, you'll follow just that that route that it takes all the way down to the trunk. Mm -hmm. You know, that the trunk is the wrong mind. And you can think of the, all the branches and the little twigs that go off where the leaves come off as all these seemingly separate things. There's just variations, different variations in form. It's, it's in form is where all the variation seems to take place. When you can really work it down, it's just one trunk or one belief. So that's good news. It's not like you, in that sense, it's not from a quantitative sense that you have to literally look at yeah, every each belief, every belief. Yeah, you can just take take, take anyone yeah. and trace it down. It seems like the mind looks at looks at as many of those branches as necessary to start seeing that every one of them goes back to that trunk. Yeah. 
Yeah. What makes that connection? Mm -hmm. Until it generalizes in that way. Yeah. Well, and that's so the point. Like once the mind sees that that's the case, then that kind of takes all what's left away with it. I mean, yeah. It kind of it takes it takes care of the rest of all those other branches. There's this idea in the course that starts off, God placed the limit on your ability to miscreate. Oh, thank heaven he placed a limit on, on, on your ability to miscreate. And that was the atonement. The way that Jesus describes the atonement, he says the atonement was built into the space-time belief. So the mind, the mind made up the space-time belief, and the the answer, the atonement, or the Holy Spirit, was built into it. It's like a, a little device. It's a safety, uh, the device. safety device. So that the device, you know, it's, it's ended, it's over. I mean, once the safety device is put in place, and... And it works for every leaf and every twig and every branch. You know, it's like it's it's coded in every single possible scenario. Every single, no matter how dark and twisted and distorted the dream can be, that there's the little safety device that's tucked away in there. And that's the atonement. teacher's manual, he says that there are ten characteristics of God's teachers that reflect an advanced teacher. And he starts off with trust is number one, and honesty, and goes into tolerance and patience and different ones. But he says all of the characteristics rest on trust. They all rest on it. And that he goes further and says that here there's like five or six stages that the teacher of God must go through. And early on, one of them, it will seem as if things are being taken away. You know, it can seem as if jobs are being taken away, people are being taken away, possessions are being taken away, skills are being taken away. Health. Health. It can seem as if teeth, <laughs> teeth are being taken away, something. That was an earlier <laughs> issue we talked about. But, I thought you said Keith. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that too. <laughs> at first, at first, it seems as Keith has been taken away. <laughs> to Julie, that's true. It did seem as Keith has been taken away. I'm losing my husband. But it's like, what it really is, is the mind is starting to see the lack of value in the things of the world. So symbolically, it's being represented as if things are being taken away. But that, that's just an interpretation. You know, there's no such thing really as being taken away. You have to really believe you have something before you can believe it's being taken away, and that's not the case. But to the deceived mind, it believes it has lots of things. And when those things seem to be lost or taken away, then that's, that's its interpretation of it. So those would be good to do just a review on some days stages of development of trust, and we just did, and Adrian, our fellow down there, Tom, you know, he, when he came up here to this house to visit and go into things, you know, we, he, in his mind, he thought he was, like, right about on level four, yeah. and um, we came over to talk about it, and I just went over the first two with him, and that was it, and he went back, and he started going over them, and he went, Oh, shucks. You know, kind of like, I'm just on the first, <laughs> I'm on the first one. I thought, I, <laughs> I read these before, I thought I was on four. But, you know, it's that whole thing of, and also when you read them, it talks about periods of unsettling and, you know. And the, the later, anything after two is pretty advanced, really. I mean, in terms of the teacher of God, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I think a lot of people read through them and say, oh, well, yeah, sure, sure, oh, sure, three, sure, four. sure, I've done this, 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 this. I'm in between four and five, or, yeah. you know, this, that, and... They're I'm very there. advanced, and I think that's not always apparent. And Are you, you talking know? about the characteristics 
his level? Well, in the in the or trust the truck, section, truck. it talks about the oh, levels of trust. And we could go over this sometime, like I did with this fellow Tom, about, you know, initially it really does seem to be more of a sorting out in terms of situations and behaviors, because that's all the mind believes in. The deeper you go, it's more of a sorting out of a thought system. So initially the mind thinks so much in terms of, of situations, events, and behaviors that it really starts off as what which of these situations is most helpful to me? 